world of information at their fingertips. While learning transcends the confines of textbooks and road memorization, indeed, technology has revolutionized education, democratizing access to knowledge and fostering creativity and collaboration. Let's visualize a rural village where every student can connect with world-class educators through online platforms. Let's picture a dyslexic child flourishing with the help of specialized reading apps. These are the moments that make us excited about the future of education. Now, let me ask you a question. Show me a thumbs up if you have ever seen technology positively impact a classroom. That's amazing. So, my respected dignitaries and my dear friends, I am Alfred Sheriff, standing here before you to talk on an intriguing topic, the ethical dilemmas of technology in education. Think back to your first encounter with a computer, a tablet, or a smartphone. Hope you all remember the awe and wonder, right? So, technology in education promises boundless innovation and limitless learning opportunities. It's the stuff of futuristic dreams where every children, despite their circumstances or backgrounds, can access a world-class education. Yet, alongside these triumphs, shadows loom. Let's talk about data. Precious, powerful, and potentially perilous. Every click, every keystroke can be logged, analyzed, and used. Who wants this data? How is it protected? These are the questions which lie at the heart of an ethical dilemma. Now, consider the digital footprint of a student, starting in kindergarten and following them through graduation. Now, what happens to this data? Who ensures that it's not misused or sold? These are the concerns keeping many of us awake at night. So, we find ourselves at crossroads grappling with questions that challenge the very fabric of ethical conduct. How can we ensure equity and inclusion in an era where access to technology varies widely? How can we safeguard our students' privacy in an era of data mining and surveillance? And most importantly, how can we nurture critical thinking skills in a landscape inundated with misinformation and algorithmic biases? These questions demand not just answers, but dialogue, collaboration, and collective commitment to our ethical actions. Now, let me begin with the paradox of privacy. The social media platforms invite us to share the minutiae of our lives, from mundane moments to life altering events. And we people willingly disclose our locations, interests, and our relationships with a few tabs on our screens. Yet, beneath the veneer of connections lies the shadow of surveillance. Our personal data becomes currencies in the hands of tech giants traded for targeted ads. And as students, we need to grapple with the implications of digital footprints. How much of ourselves are we willing to expose to the digital world? And at what cost to our privacy and autonomy? Let me share a few real life incidents. In 2017, Edmodo, a popular educational platform, experienced a data breach, which exposed the personal information of many users, including students. So this incident questioned the security of students' data on educational platforms. Another popular incident is a very famous Google Workspace for Education, which is used by educators worldwide. The questions were raised about the amount of data which is collected from students and how it was used for advertising purposes. You know, as a fellow student, I can completely empathize with these privacy concerns. I too once used my number to enroll in an educational institution for a competitive exam. And since then, I've been inundated with phone calls asking about my, you know, about all these admission stuff. And the hilarious part is, even last evening, I received a phone call from an unknown number. And I, when I picked it up, I was like, hello, who's this? And the person on the other side of the phone call was like, am I speaking to a friend sheriff? I was like, yeah. And then he asks me, 
are you looking for college admissions? I was like, the honest, my honest reaction was like, I'm already in college. And the fun part is that I used my phone number to enroll in an educational platform for a competitive exam. But then it ended up in a random college admission site. So yes, yeah, it's, it's really very impressive. And I'm pretty much sure that you all would have experienced these kinds of steps just like I did, right? So there have been situations where there were a lot of educational company platforms. They were found to sell students' data to third-party advertisers without proper consent, violating privacy laws. Now, let's delve into the second dilemma, bias. Algorithmic bias is it's one of the prominent issues which we find during educational purposes. Like, algorithms, they are the invisible hands guiding our tech. And they are widely used from predicting students' performances to recommending advanced courses. So, what happens when these algorithms are biased? Let's consider the case of a student called James. So James, he's coming from a very you know, disadvantaged background, but he's a very talented student. So despite his efforts, the algorithm used in his school to recommend advanced classes has always overlooked his performance. So should we trust algorithms to make important educational decisions? Now, let's confront the third dilemma the insidious door of digital distractions. Our mobile phones with their incessant notifications and addictive apps have become a constant companion in our today's world. It's all too easy for us to fall down the rabbit hole of social media feeds, to binge watch endless streams of content, and to find ourselves captivated by, the, by mobile phone games. In the midst of these distractions, we risk to lose something very precious. Our focus and ourselves to engage deeply in our education. So, let me tell you something. Uh, back in our unforgettable days of online classes, you know, instead of listening to classes, I used to be so invested in scrolling through social medias and to binge watch Netflix shows. And to be honest, this act resulted very deeply in my examinations. And I'm pretty much sure most of our students experience this thing. So, as students, how can we reclaim our attention and create an environment where we can focus deeply amidst the clamor of digital noise? Lastly, the pressing dilemma of academic integrity in a world of information overload. The internet, with its vast repositories of knowledge, presents a double-edged sword for students. On one hand, it allows us an unparalleled access to resources, research materials, and online tools for learning. While on the other hand, it tempts us with the allure of plagiarism, the ease of copy and paste, and the shortcuts of SMLs. So, as students, we need to uphold the principles of honesty, originality and the intellectual integrity of our academic pursuits. Let me tell you an interesting story. So once in my classroom, we were given a homework. Uh, we were circulated an assignment which was basically very general. It was about thinking skills. I mean, just to check our thinking skills, more like higher order thinking skills. And the very next day when we submitted our assignments, our teachers found that nearly three-fourths of our class had similar to same responses. And once she came in and asked us, from where did we get all those answers? You know what? Literally every single one of us replied, Chad GPT. See, it's, you know, we people, especially us, we are still captivated by the use of AI, especially this Chad GPT. So how can we navigate this fine line between leveraging the resources for enrichment purposes and, and from tempting for the ta uh, plagiarism of academic dishonesty. And how can we navigate this complex landscape of ethical dilemmas in a, as responsible citizens of the tech world? So well, it all begins with awareness. We need to cultivate a space where we could be using our tech 
mindfully and setting boundaries and reclaiming attention to what truly really matters. And most probably we need to educate ourselves with data privacy, digital literacy and online ethics. In a nutshell, the ethical dilemma of tech is not a problem to be feared, but it's a challenge to be met. So now let us create a future where where every single one of us could be uplifted to use this tech in a positive way. Where our voices are advocated for digital rights. Our actions as responsible models, modern uh, tech citizens. And our choices to create a tech future where technology serves humanity and not the other way around. Thank you.